Welcome to Chicago. I've been coming to the Chicago Auto Show for so many years, I can't even tell you. It's one of my favorite shows here at the McCormick Place. The people at Odessa have asked me to show you around the Chicago Auto Show. Let's go. Well, here we are in Chicago inside the belly of the beast. This is the Lexus stand. You know, I've always been a rear end guy. And look at the rear end on this car. It's a Lexus LFA. And I gotta tell you something, you don't normally see even one of these. There are four in a row. We're gonna find the guy that owns this stand, the head of Lexus Marketing, and we're gonna find out what's going on with these cars and the entire brand of Lexus. Let's go. I have some of my buddies I want to introduce you to. Guys that actually make this industry what it is, like Brian Smith from Lexus. He's the head Thanks. of marketing. How you doing, man? I'm good, thank you. You have four LFA sports cars over there. These are the most iconic machines. We're not used to seeing this kind of expensive, very exotic sports car out of that company. Alan, you're not used to seeing four together. I've never seen four together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's extremely rare. We get about 170 over two years in the United States. So this is a rare opportunity to see four together. LFA has done dramatic things for the Lexus brand. Well, Lexus shown they can make a supercar, but not only that, they have got some sedans that are just amazing. And this new face of Lexus. You're exactly right about the changing face of Lexus. It's got an iconic spindle grill shape that's going to become very, very prominent on all Lexus models as we introduce nine all new or significant updated models this year, including three F-Sports. It seems like now they're really going after this luxury and performance. The LFA kind of started that off and now you're following that and the concept car that's on the turntable. What is that? The LFLC which is really the extension of where this great design philosophy could go. That car looks like it's moving sitting still, like no car I've ever seen. It's got great technology. It, of course, would be the next generation of Lexus hybrid drive. This is the biggest change in the brand since the introduction yeah. more than 20 years ago. Well, Lexus doing a great job of putting performance and luxury all together in a package, whether it be a sedan or the LFA sports car, which is a supercar. And you guys are doing a great job. Thanks, Alan. Don't forget, you got to hear it. It sounds like a Formula One car, <laughs> oh, nothing man. like it. I'm going to go check out some other cars here in Chicago. Let's Thank go. You. Let's go. So my day job is with Motor Trend, and behind us is the SUV of the year for Motor Trend 2012, the Land Rover Range Rover Evoque, the SUV of the year. I thought to myself, never can they make a vehicle that isn't a gas guzzler, but you guys have proved that you really can. Good fuel economy, great styling, and this vehicle, I mean, I gotta tell you, they must be just flying off the shelves. They are, and we're selling everyone we can build, and it's doing real well. I mean, it's a great vehicle, and it's a vehicle that gets great gas mileage. Plus, you look at it, it looks fantastic. It's got great design, but you also look at it and you're going, oh, there can't be any room in it. But the thing that's so kind of deceiving about it is there's so much headroom in this vehicle that I actually fit in it very comfortably. And all Land Rover products are all very capable. I mean, that's really what the brand is all known yeah. for anyway. Yeah. We've got a couple of Defender concepts of what they are, the DC100, and um, these are vehicles that are hopefully going to be coming into our pipeline here in a few years. Well, Range Rover doing a great job, obviously the Evoque and uh, Land Rover, the entire lineup of vehicles, they're all fun to drive, very luxurious, very capable, styling over the top, and evidently doing a good job over here is Skip, and uh, we're going to look at some other cars. Let's go. <laughs> Well, here we are at the Ford stand. My friend Jim Owens. How you doing, brother? Alan, good to see you, sir. I am a Mustang enthusiast. Never thought I really would be one, but I got behind the wheel of a Shelby, and that changed everything. And behind us is the 2013 GT500, 650 horsepower. There was a day to get 650 horsepower, you'd buy the car, you'd spend 50 grand, you'd have a car that you could drive, right? Absolutely. Today, 
for about that price, you can buy a car that comes with a nice warranty that is, from what I understand, a 200 mile an hour car. It is unbelievable. And it's beautiful, of course. And I, you know, maybe it's time that my 07 gets retired with 6,000 miles. Uh, 6,000 <laughs> miles might be a little bit early. Maybe you just kind of put it to the side. Don't want to make get it jealous. Air, airborne a few more times. A couple more times. <laughs> but the Shelby that you drive has wonderful performance. Oh, but yeah. The guys from SVT and the engineering, they keep making it better. You know, today we launched the 2013 GT500 convertible. 20 years ago, we were showing you over there, they launched the 1993 first Mustang Cobra that was uh, wowing 235 horsepower. And I thought that was and good. And that was, you know, and if you think about that, 20 years later, SVT keeps doing it. So you're 07, you keep it there to cruise it, and, I and you, you get this one to drive 200. I never thought that it would get any better than that. And so I decided, all right, this is it. We have reached, we have the, reached top. the top. And forget it. They blew past that just like and, and And with this, it's not just adding horsepower. So the traction control system, you will have zero to 60 numbers. And of course, we like our media counterparts to actually do those. That will be well south of the car you're currently driving. Um, you're killing it. It's, it, it. The traction control system puts that extra 100 horsepower to the street in a usable fashion. Jim, thank Alan, you, brother. thanks so much. All right. I can't wait to get behind the wheel. I'm going to go check out some other cars here in Chicago. Come on. I just can't stop looking at it. It's the ATS, Alan Taylor sedan. Don Butler, VP of Marketing. How you doing, man? Good, Alan. You Good made my own car for me here. I, you know what? I think not only will you be happy, but a lot of future Cadillac customers will be happy with this vehicle. This is an important car. The CTS has done very well for you. Mm -hmm. The ATS, a much smaller machine. Seems like the trend is that people are buying smaller cars, but they still want that luxury. Uh, yeah, and you're, performance. You're, you're absolutely right. Compact luxury is the largest luxury segment, and to date, we really haven't had a player there for Cadillac. And as you say, people that are moving into compact luxury, the reason it's called compact luxury is because it is luxury. And right. so a lot of people, it's the first time that they buy a luxury vehicle, and so they definitely want that distinctiveness, those cues that communicate it's a higher level of vehicle. For us, it's a fantastic opportunity the largest segment that we haven't participated in to this point. So from a volume standpoint, particularly for our dealers, terrific, terrific opportunity. Buyers of this vehicle will tend to be younger than our typical buyers within Cadillac. And so having something in the showroom that's attractive to them increases how they feel and how they think about Cadillac. So very important for us. Normally, you make them smaller, you put anemic engines in them. Not you, just everybody. <laughs> And then the car is heavy because you're putting all of that extra stuff in it. How are you going to overcome that with the ATS? Well, the first the thing Alan is... The Alan Taylor sedan. Oh, is that what it's called? Yeah. I didn't realize that's what the letter yeah. stood for. <laughs> See, that's wow. what I'm talking about. <laughs> for the ATS, we knew that, you know what, we're competing against some of the best players in the industry, BMW, Audi, Mercedes-Benz. We had to start with a clean sheet of paper. So this is an all new architecture from the ground up. A couple of things that we were able to do with that. It's tuned specifically to be a great handling vehicle. It's also tuned to be a mass efficient vehicle. It will weigh less than 3,400 pounds. Wow. In fact, we think it will be the lightest vehicle in the segment. That is incredible. A vehicle from Cadillac, a vehicle from GM, yeah. the lightest in the segment. Yeah. Well, that's, it's not very often that you've heard that before. That, uh, that's some space age technology to get that Exactly, away, a lot of use of premium materials like magnesium, for instance, aluminum hood to get a lot of the mass out of the vehicle. Second thing is in terms of the powertrains. Three powertrains, a base two and a half liter four cylinder with 200 horsepower, which will Will be more than enough to motivate that vehicle. A mid-level powertrain, which is actually probably my favorite powertrain, it's a two-liter turbocharged four-cylinder, 270 horsepower. With 3,400 pounds, power to weight ratio. The, the top of the line engine, 3.6 liter direct injected V6, making over 320 horsepower. Yeah. So lightweight, lightweight with great powertrains. The other thing that that gives you as well is terrific fuel efficiency. We expect each model of ATS to get better than 30 miles per gallon on the highway. Now you're talking. 
Now you're talking. So power without compromise. Luxury, performance, good looks, options for engines, lightweight, and a brand new architecture. I don't know, it may be the ATS Alan Taylor sedan of all time. Thank you so much. <laughs> always great I, to speak I with always you. want a car named after me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now you know what Cadillac's up to. Let's go see what's going on at GMC. Don, thank you, man. Alan, good to all speak right. with you, man. Talk to you later. Take care. Yep. This is the GMC Acadia for 2013. It's been completely redesigned, refreshed, new front end, new headlights, new taillights. Get ready, because here it is. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our trip around the Chicago Auto Show as much as I have. Special thanks to Tom Caruso and everybody at Odessa Auto Auctions. We'll see you on the next one.